All right. We need to do a lot of examples from section 2.1. So let's look at one block of examples talking about finding the vertex, or finding rather the vertex form of a parabola given the vertex of that parabola and another point. So we're told in this case on 16, which is located on page 162, that the vertex of our parabola, or quadratic, is located at 0, 1. And our quadratic passes through the point minus 1, 0. So we're going to start with the vertex form of a quadratic, which is that y, or f of x, depending on what you prefer, is a times x minus h, square all that, plus k. This is the nice way to do it because h and k are given to us. h is the x-coordinate of the vertex and k is the y-coordinate of the vertex. So saying that the vertex is 0, 1 is the same thing as saying that h is 0 and k is 1. Which means we know everything about this function except for the value of a. And all we have to do then is use this other point to find the value of a. I'll simplify this a bit because x minus 0 is just x. So this is simply a times x squared and then add 1. So if the point passes through minus 1, 0, that tells me that when x is minus 1, when the input is minus 1, y, the output, is 0. That's what this point minus 1, 0 tells me. When x is minus 1, y is 0. So I plug minus 1 in for x. So a times minus 1 squared plus 1. That's supposed to equal 0. So we're using, I forgot to note this, outline what we're doing, use minus 1, 0 to find the value of a. Minus 1 squared is just 1, and a times 1 is just a. So to solve for a, we'll subtract 1 from both sides. So we get that a is minus 1. We now know a, h, and k. We aren't supposed to know x. Just like in a line with y equals mx plus b, you leave x as a variable. Well, same thing here. We're going to leave x alone. We're not going to plug in any numbers for x, but we will plug in numbers for everything else. So f is minus 1 times, and I can even use this simplified version, x squared plus 1. And minus 1 times x squared, we just simplify that to minus x squared plus 1. That's our quadratic, which has a vertex at 0, 1, and will pass through the point minus 1, 0. Let's take a look at Let's take a look at another example. So in the same section, if we look at number 18, they tell us that the vertex is located at the point minus 3, comma, 4, and the point which lies on the graph is the point zero zero. So we start with the vertex form of a quadratic. 
and that's simply that y or f of x is a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Again, we use this because we can really quickly fill in the values for h and k because those are the x and y coordinates of the vertex. This first piece of information tells us that h is minus 3 and k is 4. Now all we have to do is use this other point to find out what a is. But right now, let's write down what we have so far. We have, we don't know what a is. x is supposed to remain a variable. h is minus 3 and k is 4. So we can simplify this a little bit because x minus a minus 3 is just a long way of saying x plus 3. Now, now that we've simplified this a little bit, we'll use our extra point, 0, 0, to find what value a should take. So when x is 0, when the input is 0, the output, or y, should also be 0. So plug 0 in for x, a times 0 plus 3, square that, and then add 4. This should all equal 0. Well, 0 plus 3 is 3, so we have 3 squared, a times 3 squared, plus 4 equals 0. Well, 3 squared is 9, and instead of saying a times 9, we'll just say the more traditional 9a. Now, to solve for a, we need to subtract 4 and divide by 9. So we have minus 4 ninths. We now know a Long ago we figured out h and k. We can fill in all the missing pieces for the vertex form. So our quadratic is a, which we now know to be minus 4 ninths times x minus a minus 3, but we simplified that earlier to x plus 3. Square that sum and then add 4. And that is our answer.